welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy and I'm a cruelty-free content creator. So I am actually at my desk right now. It's just a normal work day. I've been wanting to try out this Good Apple. This is the Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm from KVD Beauty. I got this like several weeks ago and I still haven't played with it. And mostly because for me in filming, you're actually in my filming space right now, it doubles as an office for me. So I usually am turned this way. This is normally my background. I have to take everything off my work desk, move the desk around, get the lights up, and it can be quite arduous at times. So I figured, you know what, let's do almost like a vlog all day wear test type deal. And um, we will see how this foundation wears because it has gone viral. And uh, yeah, so let's see how it goes. I have already done my eyes. I've been recently playing with this palette. This is the ColourPop Bambi collection, the Thumper one. I wasn't gonna get anything from this collection originally. And then a little over a month ago, I was in Ulta and I saw this and I really, really liked the colors. I thought it was super cute. Also look how adorable that is with Thumper on it. But these kind of taupey, the pink, the green shades. And so I did this really simple look for work. So I think it looks super cute. My eyebrows are done. Let's prep the skin. I'm a little nervous about what primer to use. Um, I don't want it to have like an adverse reaction. So I've got my little ears on. I usually use, this is one of my favorite primers. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I think I'm gonna do this one because it usually gives me a really good smooth base. So I'm just gonna put it on this NYX brush that I have. I'm gonna apply it that way. Let me get out a little mirror. Hi, Dahlia. My kitty's watching me. I'll show her to you in a second. Then Mittens should be around here somewhere. I'll show him to you too. All right, so this is the packaging. Isn't that adorable? I'm really excited about this. So this is infused with apple extract to help nourish skin. And this is a completely recyclable package. Of course, it's vegan and uh, looks like the shelf month life is 12 months. So let's just give this a try. So I wanna let you know the component isn't overly heavy, but I kind of appreciate that it's completely recyclable. This is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. This is what the back looks like. I got the shade Light 012, which I believe is just the light neutral. That's normally what I wear. So that's it there. So again, doesn't come with a mirror or anything because it is recyclable. I have a KVD foundation brush. I've had this for years. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna go in. I don't think you need a lot. Um, I don't know if I picked up a lot or not. That's how much I picked up on the brush like that. So let's just try. Let's see, what do you guys think? It's covering really well. I tried it. I didn't dip very hard into it because I didn't want to pick up too much. Let's see what the texture is like with my fingers. Okay, so it's a balmy texture. Interesting. It's super smooth. It feels like a balm, like almost like a lip balm. Never put really foundation on with my fingers unless it's more of like a BB cream. They've been advertising this as a foundation for more normal to dry skin. I have more comboed oily, but I do feel like if you prep the skin correctly that you can pretty much wear any foundation. And I was just so intrigued by this because I think there's 40 shades, so I think that's really good. Um, the KVD brand has always been very inclusive when it comes to shade ranges. So I actually think that blended out quite nicely. The color is like, a tiny bit off in person. It almost reads slightly peachy, but in the camera, I think it actually looks like it's a perfect match. That covered quite nicely, but I'm still seeing um, spots kind of come through. Like I have a, I don't know if that's like a sunspot or an age spot, but let me try putting just a tiny bit more. I don't wanna to use too much, but. This is supposed to like 
be able to cover tattoos and stuff. I feel like, oh, there we go. Okay. That extra bit held. What I like about this brush is that it's kind of pointed in the middle. See that? So I can really get into like all the crevices and crannies of my face. I'm not going to put concealer on. I think I'm just going to use this as the concealer. Let me blend it out. It's interesting that more like my skin kind of peeked through upon initial application because I feel like what I've seen on TikTok people just streak the product through and it's like complete coverage and maybe that's because they're a bit more heavy-handed. I keep on going very very lightly into this but this is what it looks like now that I've dipped in. So that's that. Let's set it. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is my favorite pressed powder of all time and as you can see I've used a lot of it. So let's just see how this goes with setting. I'm gonna lightly set. Again, because I can get oily, I'd rather set this. And this is a very smoothing powder. It doesn't tend to get cakey. Oh heck, why not? Let's just put on the rest of the products while I have you here. So I'm just gonna go in. This is like my Z palette that I use for every day. I have a lot of products that I've hit pan on, or I'm very close to hitting pan on. So let me grab some bronzer. I still have this Physicians Formula bronzer from like ever ago. I hit pan on this, I think two years ago, and there's still much, this much product left. And that's kind of a problem <laughs> because I have so many bronzers that I kind of want to go through and try out. It's always such a struggle. I really want to try that Charlotte Tilbury powder, the bronzer one, because I've heard such good things about it. So it'll be interesting to see how products go on top of this foundation. I can still see my red spots through. So I don't know if me just kind of this motion of kind of buffing may have disrupted the foundation a little bit. But looking in the, I'm looking again in the camera and I don't think it looks too bad. I'm just kind of looking at this <laughs> with a very discerning eye. Can you believe that it's already April? It's just so nuts to me. I have so much products that I have to review for you guys. And honestly, I, it's just taking me forever to get to everything because I'm so tired. My work is going through so much right now. Um, I work in finance for those who do not know. And it's just really kicking up right now. My company is going through an acquisition. So it's just constant projects, constant work. It's also exciting too, but it's just, it's a lot. Let's put on some blush. What blush should we do today? I have so much blush, but I really want to use what's here in the palette. So I've got a bunch of selections here of some of my most used. I think I'm going to go in... Hmm, I'll go with my eye look. Maybe just something like, I think I'll just go into my Pacifica Camilla one. Just an easy one to go to because it always blends out so beautifully. Such a beautiful blush. If any of you ever need a really good blush recommendation, Pacifica has great blushes. I have started to put the tiniest bit of blush on my nose. Um, I always watch Butte Bean who does it and she looks so stinking cute when she does it. And I'm like, oh, do I look, am I gonna look like Rudolph if I do this? <laughs> but I've started to put just a tiny bit and I do like the way it looks. It kind of makes the whole look kind of go together. So let's do the highlighter next. I think we're going to go into this one. So this is a really old highlighter. Again, I almost have hit pan on it. This is from Tarte. I can't remember which one this is. The Amazonian Clay Highlighter and Stunner. I'm so close to hitting pan. I don't know if you can see the dip that's in there. Like so, so close. So let's see. 
this brush too by Sigma, this highlighting brush. I'm in love with it right now. Just diffuses highlight so beautifully. See that? Alrighty, my friends, so this is the whole look that I have. It's very simple, natural, every day for just kind of work. I have a lot of meetings right now that are going on, so this is just a very easy go-to look for me. So I have to say, it didn't take too long to apply the product. I do feel like I had to build it up though. I feel like I didn't get that one swipe coverage and that may just be because I wasn't going heavy handed into it. I was being very light because I didn't want to go and use too much product at once. But I think my skin looks really pretty. It looks very fresh and dewy right now, very natural. I can still see spots kind of peeking through my skin. Um, but it's not bad. I did also use it as concealer under my eyes, and so far it hasn't creased or anything, which is really good. So I'm just going to go about my day, and I'll just keep checking in and letting you know how I feel about this foundation. Can we talk about the sweet little sun goddess, though? Hi, my sweet girl. Hey, yo. She loves laying in this little hammock throughout the day, and I just work right next to it. And she just basks in the sun. Yeah, can you believe how big she's gotten? She's six pounds now. She may be even a little bit more than that, which is definitely bigger than my lily girl ever was. <sighs> you know, she's so pretty. You look outside? If anyone is wondering how Mittens is doing, he is doing just fine. He is lazy as always, and he knows, he senses my presence. He's like, Mama, get away from me. I just want to sleep. Hi, Bubba. You're such a big boy. So handsome. So handsome. Alrighty, so I have had this foundation on now for a little bit. I'm going to go on my lunch break because I have to mail something out. I sold a palette on Poshmark, so I'm going to go and do that right now. So I've been wearing this for about four to five hours now, and I think that it looks good, especially in a camera, but I have to say that in a lot of natural light, the texture really comes through with this, and my skin isn't overly textured. It's quite smooth now due to the skincare regimen I've been implementing, so it is very interesting that like around here and then like right here, it kind of looks a little textured, but... In this light, it doesn't look too bad. So I'm kind of still like on the fence with this. So I'll check back in at the end of the day. Okay, my friends, so it is the end of the day. I just finished working. It's now dark outside. I am exhausted. I have worn this foundation all day. And as you can see, I'm a little bit of an oil slick. Um, I think, you know, I have mixed feelings about this foundation. I do think it's better than the Marc Jacobs extra shot, the caffeine foundation and concealer. That was like the last foundation that I tried out that was a new release. I haven't really powdered much throughout the day because I wanted to see how this would look. And I do have to say, I still think it actually looks pretty good. Like I feel like I'm kind of glowy, very healthy looking skin. The only thing is that I feel like I feel the product on me. It's not necessarily lightweight, I think. Not that it was thick going on, but I do think that I just feel it on my skin. And I don't wanna say that it's heavy either. It's very interesting. It's I've never really felt something like this before on my skin. I do think it actually looks really good on camera, but if I get up really, really close, you could see it did kind of settle into my fine lines. It did oxidize a little bit, and it also emphasized texture, especially around the nose area and the rest of my T-zone, which normally I don't have too many texture issues. It's more of just like splotchiness, kind of discoloration with my skin. It's, it's definitely an interesting product. Would I say it's worth the $38 that it is at the price point? Mm, 
I'm gonna have to try it out more. So this was just an all-day wear test. I do have to say that Although I was mostly indoors, I did spend a little bit of time outside today and it was a warmer day in the sun. I did sweat a little bit. The, the makeup did hold up. I just feel like it just looks a little textured in certain areas. I'm gonna take out my mystifying, mattifying powder from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. This is a really good hit pan on it, if you can see. Good mattifying powder. Let's see if this helps a bit. So, I think if you are a bit on the oily side, proceed with caution with this foundation because you are going to feel oily. So let's see. Oh, see, that helped. That really helped automatically. So if you touch up then, I think it'll look pretty fresh throughout the day. But I really hoped you enjoyed this all day wear test. This was a lot of fun. I may do more videos in this style because it allows me to kind of go about my day without having to disrupt the whole room. And it'll allow me to create more content for you at a faster rate. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I will do a follow up probably in about a maybe the weekend or so and it'll be all about just kind of micro reviews for products that I've recently tried. Um, I have still so many products back from the holiday time that I need to kind of catch you guys up on and my thoughts and feelings about those. So if you made it all the way through this video, thank you so much for watching. Comment down a little peach in the comments down below because you are sweet as a peach. And until next time, my friends, remember to stay compassionate and chic. Bye!